fort now. Yes, Captain? Captain, something's up, and it don't sit well with me. Let's talk in a tavern cellar. Yes, Captain? one of the eagles in Nova Aquila, telling the tale of some of my younger exploits with the Seven. But then, this big-beaked so-and-so had the nerve to say I was no hero. Real heroes only come from Aquila. You heard me. My dear husband is willing to take this line down, but I ain't. The eagle mentioned some kind of games. The Contest of Champions. I mean to enter this contest and show these toga-wearing nitwits what a real hero is. Your game? Let's ask that philosopher fella how to join in. Well, hello again. What can I do for you today? Existential dilemma? Unanswerable enigma? Shall we debate? The contest of champions? Ambitious. I don't think they'll let you compete. You're no eagle after all. They're far too proud of themselves. But as I always say, the important thing is not to live, but to live well. Go talk to Pindar by the Coliseum. Maybe he'll make an exception. The Contest of Champions. You haven't missed it. The winner will be announced here before long. Partake of the wonders of the city in the meantime. What? You come not to watch the contest, but to compete? <laughs> Your zeal does you credit, but you must not be from around here. Only the finest heroes of Aquiline blood, kin to the very immortals, have any hope of finishing the three contests and winning the prize. Why... I'm not sure a foreigner has ever competed at all. Such things are against the rules, I expect. Well, there's a first time for everything. Or what? You afraid of having all your heroes shown up by a little old canary? I'm certain exceptions could be made. A test. Our victory wreaths were plundered by vulture pirates. Bring them back and you will compete. the makings of a hero after all. The contest has already begun. Are you sure you want to begin at a disadvantage? You waste any more time, and I reckon I might be at a disadvantage. Get on with it! So be it. All heroes must excel at defeating monsters. The first contest is the Great Hunt. Report to Orion in Caledonia. Oh. Oh. You are here for the contest. Beware, for only the mightiest can hope to succeed. The monsters that haunt these hills are fearsome. Ha! Do I look scared to you? You are bold, Outlander. <laughs> I like that. Very well. The first challenge is to hunt down and defeat a dread manticore. They lair in caves. When you've defeated one, Take its claws to Pindar as token of your success. I fear you're doomed, but the immortals favor the foolish. Look here. I think those are manticore prints. Shall we track them to a cave? From here on out, I'd best see to this myself.
claim our prize. Oh, you've returned. Hard day? Oh, you did it. Not expected. But I must warn you, there are two contests left, and they will grow more difficult. Well, I do appreciate the warning, but I reckon I'll just muddle through. So do get to the point. As you wish. For the second contest, bring back the Golden Laurel Wreath from Sparta. It's an archery contest. You're very late. Here for the archery contest. You're too late. I've just won it. Win the next contest, and perhaps you'll have a chance. Oh, I see how it is. Probably for the best. This ain't really my kind of shooting anyway. Still, it's a shame I never got to see you in action, or you me. I'd like to know which of us is the better fighter. Too bad we'll never know. <laughs> you doubt my prowess? Very well. Since you are incapable of archery, I will give you a chance. You want this prize? Fight me for it. Surely a barbarian like you will excel at that. I'll give you the wreath if you can beat me. Sister, I thought you'd never ask. Beaten. Here, I give you the prize. You are a foreigner. You know nothing of bows. This was your intent from the start. You tricked me. And you walked right into it. You eagles really do think too much of yourselves. Wait, I'm off to win the third contest. Bye now. What is this? The golden wreath? I fear you are disqualified. You did not win the archery contest. Now just a cotton-picking minute, you puffed-up prima donna. You didn't say go win the archery contest. You said bring back the wreath. You gonna change the rules all of a sudden because you're scared a little old me? I see. You may not have the blood of eagles, but you are as clever as Ulysses. So be it. The terms of the contest are honored. 
Now for the last contest. A foot race over all of Ilios to gather golden apples. Whoever takes the most wins. Atalante will tell you more. A foot race? Oh boy. Another runner? You're very late. I fear most of the apples have been taken. In fact, there aren't any left in the regular course at all. <sighs> Greetings, stranger. You are bold and cunning. A worthy opponent. But I fear the race is run. I have three apples. The only way to gather more would be to take them from the Ettons in Yon Cave. The brutes have wandered off with so many. Ettons, is it? Fighting a bunch of them sounds a lot more manageable than a foot race. Let's get to it! Listen up, Ettons! I'm here for the golden apples. Just hand them over and there'll be no trouble. What do you say? Crush, little ones. Crush them all. Well, I tried. I do not believe it! The deed is done! This year, the contest of champions is won by an outlander! What a display of might, guile, and virtue! You have struggled and persevered, strange one, and now you have earned the prize. Which is? The right to climb the peaks of Akia and sacrifice yourself to Typhon the Terror. Your virtuous death will keep Aquila safe for another year. What? You mean you didn't ask what the prize was before you joined the contest? You people need to be a little more detail-oriented. If you refuse, you will be reviled as a coward and a liar throughout the Empire. If it's any consolation, if you defeat Typhon, he'll let you live and his tyranny will end. But that's impossible. Typhon is invincible. I may be many things, but I ain't no coward. We'll see just how invincible this Typhon is. Maybe there's a legend about how to defeat Typhon. Let's go ask Daedalus. Typhon? Where? Oh, I see. You mean to fight him, eh? Uh, they say the hot blood of a titan flows in his veins. Indeed. Typhon is so hot that nobody can face him without fainting from the heat or bursting into flame. There's only one thing that might help. The Aegis, an enchanted amulet forged by Hephaestus Coppersmith himself. It was lost with General Cadmus, who led his legion into doom in Ilios. Cadmus and his legion went into the Caves of Ruin, hunting Ophidians. They never came back. Find him, and you'll find the Aegis. Poor critters living in it.
justice. Own it.
Lovely place. It's full of Typhon's victims. This was never gonna be the easy part. Let's go. We ain't waiting on me.
I'm on it. Okay. show these eagles what a hero looks like. Typhon is defeated! Amazing! You are more than a champion, friend Outlander. You are a legend. Indeed I am. You could have asked anyone in Cool Ranch and they'd have told you. The poets will write epics about you, the rude barbarian who toppled Typhon. If I were you, I'd watch who I was calling rude. 
epics, you say? I'd rather they write one about an old friend of mine. His name was Wyatt. Well, Captain, I reckon it's time to celebrate. Let's head to a tavern cellar. Teach me to join a contest without knowing what the prize is. Still, it was worth it to show up those stuffy eagles. That was fun. Yes. What, hun? 